The following video is an email request I got from Duchess out in uh, Tucker, Georgia. And they were asking about being able to rearrange the following uh, terms. So one thing I like to do with the terms is to try to group my terms. But what I'll try to do is I'll try to utilize um, different colors and I'll try to underline. But one thing I, I do want to make note, and it was based on the email, and I'm just assuming in, in case you ever see something like this. Here we have this plus minus that are side by side. And another way that we can look at that is knowing that when we have a plus minus, um, this pretty much represents a minus. So I'm gonna erase the plus minus and what I did in red so I can focus on uh, what I have. So. And we're going to just turn this into one big minus symbol. Now, uh, as I was mentioning, I like to collect my like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all the ones with X. So here I have 10X, but I'm not just going to underline 10X. I'm actually going to underline the sign that is right in front of the X, because that's going to be very, very, very valuable. I have X here. There's no sign in front of it, which means positive. I have a... Uh, x 2x here but i'm going to take the sign so it's plus 2x i'm going to keep that and by the looks of it i've already um underlined let's say all my x's all my other values i like to refer as known values so these are known values um because we know the full value anything with an x is is really considered an unknown value right it's unknown because we don't quite know what that is going to equal to it, it all depends on what kind of or what our x actually is so i'm going to underline the uh, 11 but not just minus 11 but also the plus 11 the minus 33 and the plus 100. so what i'm going to want to do here is um, i'm going to collect my unknown values i should have used red but my unknown values on one side so i'm going to start with uh, i'm going to keep them here on my um on the left side and what's the left side what's the right side well you see the equal sign here i like to pretty much separate that left and right side and so i'm going to collect terms on my left and right side so as i said what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my unknown values on this left side of the equal sign and I'm gonna put my known values on my right so on my left I'm collecting my unknown so the only unknown I have here is the plus 10 X I'm gonna look for um, some more of my uh, unknowns and the other two unknowns I have are on the right side of the equal sign. So I want to bring this x, this first x here from the left, so from the right side over to the left side. And to do that, you need to reverse the sign. So if it's positive on this right side, I'm going to bring it over to the left side and it becomes negative x. This positive 2x, which is on this right side, I want it to cut to collect it on my unknown side. So again, even that will become a negative 2x. So instead of a plus 2x on this side, it becomes a minus 2x on the other side. So now I've collected all my x values, all my unknown values. Now what I want to do is I want to collect my known values, which are in blue. So how I start is I start with whatever's already on that side. So the only value that I have on that one side is that plus or positive 100. And I could, I could remove that plus 100 here and just keep it as 100 because by writing the number, you are showing that it's positive. So the next number I'm going to take is this minus 11. So I'm going to take this minus 11. I'm going to bring it over to the other side. So the minus 11 becomes plus 11. So I've taken care of that. I'm going to look at this 
positive 11 right here. And I'm going to bring that over to this side and it becomes minus 11. And then I have this minus 33, which I'm, when I bring over to this side is going to become a plus 33. So what I can do is I can actually add up my known values. That's really simple. Just kind of you know, throw it into a calculator or if you can do uh, your math in your head with uh, such numbers, um, just tally that up. So the 100 plus 11 minus 11, notice this here, um, this plus 11 minus 11, that's just going to become zero anyway. So the only thing we're left with is 100 plus 33 to give us the value of, oops, let me keep it the same color, 100 and 33. But now the unknown side, sometimes this can be rather tricky. When you are adding, make sure, make sure that when you're adding, the unknown variable, the letter, uh, is exactly the same. If one of these was an x squared, we could not add them together. But because all of these terms are just x values, we can add them. But now we don't touch the x. The x will remain as just x. Now all we're going to do is we're going to add or subtract the numbers that are in front of that x. So we have positive 10 minus, which technically one, the number that appears here is really a 1. So 10 minus 1 gives me 9. 9 now from here minus 2 will give me 7. So the value here would be 7x equals 33. So I've now just collected my like terms. I've collected my x's. And what I've done is I've also simplified this expression here that I started with. If I wish, I can further expand this question by finding the value of x. And to find the value of x, we want to divide by whatever number is in front of x. So the number that's in front of x is a 7. So we want to divide by that number that's in front of x. Because by dividing that number in front of x, we can divide out the 7 divided by 7, which will just leave me with an x value. So in other words, I'm going to have just x equals, but in math, what I do on one side of the equal sign, so what I do on one side of the equal sign, I must do also on the other side, which means I need to divide it also by 7. And when I do 133 divided by 7, I'm going to get a value of 19. So Duchess out in Tucker, Georgia, I sure hope uh, this video was helpful to you when dealing with the rules for rearranging terms. Good luck.